Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be sharing some new spring decor finds for 2024, and I'm also going to be exploring around the store some high-end decor dupes that I can share with you. After that, I'm gonna share a small haul of a few things that I grabbed on this shopping trip, and I'm gonna give you ideas on how to style those. Now, on my past Hobby Lobby video about their spring decor that I posted in late December, I got a lot of feedback that many of you are over worded signs. So I do have to say that in this video, you're not going to see that. But if you are still into worded signs, I'm going to make sure to link that video down below in my description box so you can go ahead and check it out. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't already, please subscribe and also follow me on Instagram because I will be sharing some more updates there, especially throughout the month of February. Thank you so much for being here. And without any further ado, let's just jump right into the video. We are going to Hobby Lobby and the first section I'm going to check is their spring decor section for some new finds. I came across this oversized wooden tray, which I think it'll be so pretty to create a centerpiece across a long table. This is a reference for the size of that. Then I found this dupe for this Kamari basket from Pure Salt Interiors. They have it for $228. You can find it at Hobby Lobby for $47.99. And then this piece of wall decor really caught my eye because you can definitely create such a beautiful wall gallery like the example I'm showing you on the screen. And by the way, all the prices that you are seeing on the screen are after that 40% discount that Hobby Lobby currently has for all items from their Spring Shop collection. And in that section, I found some oil paintings as this one right here. I love the colors. I just wish the strokes were a little softer like this one right here. This has such a coastal vibe and you can definitely pair this type of art with other pieces on your wall to make it look higher end. But if you are into a farmhouse style of decor, then this painting right here has so much charm to it and it's on the larger side. Now, this set of three oil paintings are perfect to style a really large wall. Love the earthy tones that these have. Now, tapestry is something I've been seeing a lot and I love this piece right here. It reminds me a lot to that neutral textile wall art from West Elm, currently going for $223, whereas this one is just under $20. Then I moved to the planter section, which is of course a staple for the Spring Shop collection at Hobby Lobby. And I found these planters that really reminded me to those viral fluted planters from Pottery Barn. Now the prices on the screen are going to be per size and all of these sizes are currently available at my local Hobby Lobby. Also loved the charcoal colored ones. These can definitely help you elevate the look of any faux tree that you're working with. I also found these concrete loops looking ones and I say concrete looking because once you lift them up you will realize these are not as heavy as they seem to be and for that reason I do think these are going on the pricey side. Now if they go on a higher discount throughout the season like 50% off then it may be worth getting these. Another area I explored at Hobby Lobby on this day was the table decor area with all of these beautiful vases. Now, keep in mind that all of the table decor pieces go on 50% sale at Hobby Lobby every other week, and that includes these vases. I'm leaving all the prices discounted on the screen, but if you happen to visit the store and you see the prices don't match, it's because my prices are already discounted. Same is the case for the wall decor that I'm going to be showcasing in this video. Those will go on sale the opposite week from table decor so keep that in mind and as you're able to see here i found so many gems on this day this is a version or the largest version of this beautiful vase but the smaller one really reminded me of this one from pure salt interiors you can get it at hobby lobby for 15.99 on discount week these i have showcased in my channel before i think they are so charming and so versatile 
Now, I know I'm talking a lot about pure salt interiors in this video, but these really do give me that coastal vibe. They have these faces that look fairly similar going for $98 and you can get them at Hobby Lobby for $30. And these of course follow that same line of those trendy Turkish olive jars that are really popular at the moment. I really liked this smaller vase, maybe to pair with one of a larger size. This is currently going for $19.99 on discount week. And then some more rustic vases that have that same concept of those Turkish olive jars that I've been sharing. And I really like this one. You can prop it as a jar or use it as a vase however you please for $19.99. And I think these oversized black collared vases can help you create such a statement piece with some greenery stems. I love that brown gradient at the bottom for a little extra detail. And speaking about black or charcoal vases, these right here are so beautiful and you won't need much greenery to create a large or nice arrangement with these. Now we talked about terracotta on my latest Walmart video and I'm definitely seeing it more and more. Love the shape of this vase right here. This one has that white wash that elevates the look so much. Now in here we have some butt vases that you can use for a variety of things, whether that is to pair them with larger vases or you can use them in your kitchen as utensil holders. But these smaller elements are definitely ones that can help you complete a look, especially when styling a coffee table, a shelf or any other area around your house where you are working with elements or groupings of three or odd numbers and i also think these look way more expensive than what they actually are which is always a plus and can we talk about these age vases they are so pretty they look a little grayish on camera but on real life they have this greenish undertone and then i found these blue vases which are fairly similar to that one again from pure salt interiors and right across the vases, they have this aisle with these beautiful wooden bowls that can help you style your kitchen or elevate the look of your kitchen. This one right here, I thought it was also very elegant, perhaps for a centerpiece for $30. And the wall decor section, the non-seasonal one at Hobby Lobby is one you cannot miss because you can find a variety of oil paintings like these right here to create a nice wall gallery. I have shared some of these before on my channel, but I'm sharing them again because I'm actually shopping for these types of pieces for my home. These can get really expensive at other stores. The only complaint I have about these is that sometimes you can tell that they're prints and not really oil paintings. This one though, I thought it was beautiful and love the matte that it has. They also have a selection of antique flower paintings, which I don't see many people using in their homes, but I think these are so charming and beautiful because they can help you give character to your space, but at the same time, keeping that softness in. It can also help you incorporate some color, especially if your area is looking super neutral and that's not what you like. But if you are into the neutrals, this piece right here is so beautiful to create a moody space. Also, the softer lines make this piece look a bit more expensive than what it actually is. This is another one of those textile arts that can definitely complement your wall gallery by contrasting against other darker pieces. This is a section that I always check at my local Hobby Lobby and I've shared it so many times in the past. But on this day, I found this trinket brass tray, which really reminded me to this Beltic brass leather tray from Pottery Barn, only that this one does not have the handles. Found this beautiful vase on their 75% off section. The only bad thing about this one is that it was shattered or else it would have come home with me. My Hobby Lobby had it for $17 in 49 cents. I then moved on to the greenery section and the first thing I grabbed was this a floral dupe for this long stem currently going at $10.79. Keep in mind this is after the 40% off that they also have every other week for all of their florals. And if I'm not mistaken, all of the florals go on sale the same week as the wall decor. Really love this other long stem for $10.19 that almost looks like a mango tree but love the the toned down shade of green for the leaves. 
Then I found this gorgeous tall tree that could be a different option from using the typical faux olive tree to decorate and complete your space. Now, nothing wrong with faux olive trees. I still love them, but that's just a different option. Then I moved on to this section right here and I found these gorgeous candlesticks. They come in three sizes and they go on sale along with the table decor. We're back in my house and the first thing I grabbed from Hobby Lobby lately is this piece of wall decor that I found at their spring shop collection. And there's just so many things I love about these. First of all, the mat. The width of the mat is so elegant, so beautiful, and these types of pieces tend to be super expensive. So while these retail for $47.99, I believe after the 40% off for the Spring Shop collection, I ended up paying $30 a piece. I love the coastal style of the art, but we're going to talk about that in a second. And I also love the distressed or natural wood looking frame that these come with. I got a total of two with the intention of perhaps changing the art in order to style these on the same wall as a wall gallery. However, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to try, but if I'm not able to do that, then what I'll do is that I'll style them individually around my house. I really like the coastal art that they come with anyways, so I think I can pull it off. And these are great to either style in a wall gallery for them to look really elegant. Like I said, the width of the mat, it's elegant. And also you can style them on top of a console along with a vase, maybe a table lamp and the size of these alone will provide such a statement, especially if you're putting them on a bare wall. I bought them with the idea of switching the art on the inside, putting them on a, an empty wall that I have on my living room. Let's see how that works. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but these retail for $47.99. I think I paid $30 a piece and I got a total of two pieces. The next piece I got was this beautiful vase. I love it. Now, I do have to say that on the day that I filmed this shopping portion of this video, the vase and vessel section at my local Hobby Lobby was just incredible. And I came across this vase on that particular day. It's a grayish distress vase. It really reminds me to one from Pure Salt Interiors. And I really love the shape. Now, let's talk about the distress effect for a moment. This looks looks kind of like a concrete vase that's distressed over the sun, but it also has the smallest clay color speckles all around, which definitely bring up the warmness that I'm looking for in these vases. I love the shape. I have come to realize that most of the vases that I have accumulated over the years are elongated vases. And so I am now on the market for shorter vessels or vases like these. Because I want a little bit of variety, I think it's it's not only important to play around with the distress and the color effects that you group your vases with, but also on the shapes and sizes. And so this one is exactly what I was looking for. This one retails for $32. That's a full price, but I didn't pay $32. I actually was able to get this on discount week for tabletop decor items. And so I ended up paying about $16.99, which is honestly an amazing deal. This is a very heavy piece. You can definitely style it on your console table or coffee table or you can use this in your kitchen to put your utensil holders. If you're going to repurpose a vase for your kitchen utensils, I prefer to use a shorter one. That way you can definitely see the utensils. I've seen sometimes on Instagram, people use long vases and then the utensils are not that visible. So these are perfect for that. Sometimes I do look at these vases and consider buying them and repainting them. I don't think I'm going to be refinishing this one. I love it just the way it is and I cannot wait to style it around my house. Following along the lines of that vase shape that I just shared, I also source this one on this day, which I love. It's a terracotta vase. It has the slightest distress effect in it. And I have to be honest, I don't love the terracotta color per se, but I know it's a style these days to just leave unfinished terracotta vases around your house. So we'll see what happens. My true intention with this is to refinish it into a different color, into a different 
different distress effect with paint. I've always wanted to do that, but I have never taken the leap with the vases that I already have. So I think this one will be a good practice for me. I do love the shape and the small curved line that it has towards the mouth of the vase. I think it's beautiful. And honestly, the terracotta color does look good on this vase. So like I said, we'll see what happens. We'll see if I refinish it or not. So this one retails for $40, $39.99. I got it on discount week, so it was about $20. And this will be another great option to use as utensil holders in your kitchen or to style it in your coffee table or console table. You can pair it with a taller vase, perhaps of a darker color, and it'll create a really nice contrast. So I also cannot wait to style this around my home. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Hobby Lobby is having a sale right now, their yearly sale with selected items at 70% off. Traditionally, I would always film this video and share it with you all. And so I went to Hobby Lobby to check what they had. And honestly, my local Hobby Lobby, the section for their sale was an utter mess. And I couldn't find many pieces that I thought were worth of a video. And so I decided to pass on it this year but i did find one piece that i loved which is this one right here very very difficult for it to pass and this is an oil painting i love the earthy tones that it has this is actually on a wooden structure so you can use it as a table decor or you can hang it off the wall if you wish you can also use it like this for an abstract paint or you can use it like this for a horizon line on that landscape i love that the oil painting looks like an actual oil painting because I have to be honest sometimes I see these paints in some craft stores that are just prints and you can tell they're not oil painting so this one actually looks like one love the color combinations and this one I actually got for three dollars and seventy four cents so that was a deal that was very difficult for me to pass on I think it was a hidden gem that I found on this section and this one I do plan to use on an odd wall that I have in my kitchen. You can definitely use these types of decorations or small oil paintings on an odd wall that you have. You can pair it with a larger piece of decor. You can include it into a wall gallery. Just keep in mind, these have width to them. So if you are going to incorporate them into a wall gallery, it may happen that these will be a little farther out than the rest of your wall decorations. But other than that, I think this was a great deal and I can't wait to put it and style it around my house. From their greenery section, I source these stems that I don't even know the name for them, so I do apologize, but these actually are $8.99. However, you can get them on discount week, which is when wall decor goes on discount, all of their florals go 40% off. So you can get this 40% off. I love the movement that this has. I think the bright green color is gonna serve really well on the spring season. And I do believe for these to actually work and create a high-end looking arrangement around your home, something that looks like you source it off of a floral.com. I think the secret is to get more than one stem. So I ended up getting three stems and as you can see, the three of them will make a really nice arrangement right there. I do plan to pair these with that gray concrete pot that I shared earlier in this haul. Not sure where in my house that's going to be placed, but I think that's a combination I have in mind. And I'm also a mission to source for different kinds of greenery because I feel like all the greenery in my house looks the same. I have a lot of olive branches, olive trees, and then that round dark green type of leaf. And I just want something different to contrast a little bit around the seasons and whatnot. So I think this will be a great start. All right, friends, that's going to be everything for today's video. Thank you so much for all of your support. I really hope you have enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below if you liked any of the pieces that I share with you today. Believe it or not, I'm reading you all. I know I'm super behind in my comment section, but you guys have given me an overwhelming amount of support in my last few videos, which I am so thankful for. Thank you so much for taking time of your day to watch my content. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I really hope I can see you in my next one. Bye. I'm trying to let go of this heart